So the T-Grod, tell me about this project that uh, you've well, got going on. The t grod is just a whole <laughs> different thing completely. The reason we call it the T-Grod is it started out as a Holden Tigra. Yeah. So little hairdressers, yeah. convertible, front wheel drive yeah. car. But it's a cool sort of body shape. And then the owner had a HSV Club Sport right. VF. Um, he drove it here, dropped it off. So there was nothing wrong with it at all. And so now it has the, the body of the Tigra and it's got the HSV motor, yeah. gearbox, dash, gauges, seats, rear end, suspension, brakes, wow. um, as many parts that have HSV written on them in that car. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a really big car going into a really small package. Sure. So yeah, but it's a, it, we've had to build the chassis, everything. It's like Holden designing another car. Dark outside, middle of packing, move in house. Not likely, but uh, anyway, <coughs> today <coughs> I'm super early because I'm heading north to Shepparton or Shep, as the uh, as the locals call it. Two hour drive north. Um, gonna get my tea, my big bob of tea, and a coffee straight after. We're on the uh, journey. Um, yeah, what's to tell? Well, it's a new project um, I've been working on for a few weeks and uh, going up for a few meetings. Hopefully something might come of it. Well, welcome to a new Dave's Classic Garage Tours video. And as I just mentioned, I'm heading north out of Melbourne for a change to Shepparton, or what some call the Detroit of the South. Now, there's no volume manufacturers there. There's none in Australia anymore for that matter. But what there is, is a massive car culture. Basically, if it's Aussie or American, and it's got a big lump under the bonnet, someone in this regional Victorian city is working on it. I'm off to see a few stalwarts in the game from big name builders to one man operations. So why don't you come along for the ride? So I've arrived. At Maskell's, Greg Maskell's in uh, Shepparton. Tigra. Hot rod. Tigra hot rod, can you believe? Matt, Chris and Rob, back in the salvage rebuilds, is uh, some insulation on the roof. Hey. Hello. How are you going? Good. Good to meet you. I'm a little bit late. Oh, no, you're all right. I'm, yeah. I'm waiting on a phone call anyway. All right, okay. So, yeah, yeah. All good. So, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> you fancy have a little walk around your own shop here? Yeah. Show you what you got in and yeah. what you're working on, what you've got a couple, to. A couple covered up. But all right. right. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we the might panel well... van at the front. Yeah, we might as well start with that one. So, that one's. Hang yeah, on, what's the. I'll give you a mic actually. Let me stick that on. DB level we've got there. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's How's good that? Enough. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Oh, the boys will be banging away. So That's that one, right. that was a bit of a custom one. Yeah. So yeah, really nice red that we've done for it. Uh huh. Custom. What's, what model is it? It's a HJ. HJ. Yeah. So it's got a um, supercharged 308, which was stroke into a 383. Yeah. Turbo 350. Yeah. She'll be a nice cruiser. Yeah. Nice set of wheels. Right. Yeah. But yeah, that one's not bad. So you got paint in, in house yet? Yeah, you got yeah. Yeah, we do everything in house. Yeah. Um, I build the motors and um, everything. We don't do machining in house. Right. Okay. Like the '57 here, we just finished that one. I just finished building a brand new six cylinder for that one. Right. Um, so it's ready to go home now. Yeah, it's all done. All oh, uh, all original. Yeah. Yeah. She's a nice cruiser. Is that a uh, an Australian car? Yeah, factory Aussie. Yeah? Factory Aussie delivered. Yeah. All right. All original. It's All original. Paint the only thing that's been done to it is the rebuilt motor. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep, she's I all like, all like a bit of that factory stock. So, so how, yeah. long, uh, how long ago did somebody say to you first say to you, no, nope, I don't want my paint touched. I want it left as it is. Well, it's actually probably been more the other way. This guy wanted to completely rebuild this car, and I told him I wouldn't do it. No, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but so. well, like I so, I mean, back in the day, I mean, everybody comes to get their car oh. called. But when when did the fashion start? Or when did it happen around here that somebody said? No, I'm happy with my uh, original paint and patina and all that malarkey. Yeah, probably, I don't know, 15 years ago, yeah. 20 years ago, 15 years ago probably, yeah. Were you sympathetic then to it or...? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, 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 because they're only original ones. You yeah. know, as soon as you paint them, they're not, you know, and it's accepted now. Yeah. You know, like, even back then it wasn't really accepted, but, yeah. you know, like, to me, why would you touch that? Like... Just to make Were it shiny. Were you thinking that 15 years ago? Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, what's the point of touching that? It's Absolutely. nothing wrong with it. Absolutely. You know, like, and we appreciate seeing original stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, but, no, yeah, she's cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, nice Absolutely. driver. I should have a quick boochers inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at it. We just put new carpet in it. That's it. How many miles is that done? Oh, I shouldn't know. I was only just looking many, at it. How many have you done? Seven, oh, 75. 76,000. Or maybe one right time around the clock, eh? No, I don't reckon it has been. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And it was just that, look, those old engines didn't do 200,000 Ks. Oh, right. You know, okay. they just weren't built like that. Yeah. Um, you know, so yeah. And well, when, well, when we pulled it out, we'd, it's never been out in its life. Like, we were the first to pull that motor out of that oh, car. Wow. Yeah. And when, uh, sorry, the owner, not the original owner. No, no, nah, nah, I think he's the second owner. Right, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, is it a Shepparton car or? No, nah, Melbourne. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's going back to Melbourne. Uh huh. Um, there's. All oh, right. I don't think there's any Shepparton cars in here at the moment. Um, so, this one belongs to. There's a Chevy cab over there. So, this is a big Julie oh, right, yeah. um, thing that we're doing. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, we just put a new big block in it and, oh, and stuff. Um, for a dual cab, that's a dual cab, that. dual wheel, yeah, yeah, big girl, yeah, yeah. People were. Uh, it was a diesel, but he wanted to put the the big block Chevy in it. So it's all petrol. Some more money on petrol. Well, it actually come here just for the motor, right? Yeah. And we've rebuilt the whole rear end airbag, got new rear suspension, new front suspension. Yeah. New panels, custom everything, new wheels. <laughs> it's just hectic and busy at the moment because we've got so much going on. Yeah. You know, we've got a, I don't know, a total of 24 cars we're building or uh -huh. something. So yeah, so this is the TIG rod. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think many of these would be floating around in nope. Europe. <laughs> take it on. <laughs> well, it's an Australian built car. The Tigra, Tigra, what's the Holden Tigra? From, from a it's CKD a, or yeah, yeah, it's a Holden Tigra. Yeah, but they would have been. I mean, we had Vauxhall Tigras back. No, then. no, no, they were Didn't Holden we? Tigra. What they designed like the? I think they were designed and built here in Australia. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. I know we had them. They badged. might not have been, but yeah. We had like, them badged as t Vauxhalls back. Oh then. maybe. Yeah. 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 Oh right, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, they might have been something from there then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, yeah, I'm pretty sure they were Opals. Yeah. They were Opal. Just, to be honest with you, I didn't look in them. Yeah, no, I think they're opals. So. <laughs> they're not something I'd go out and <laughs> no. look at. The only reason I look at them now is because of this thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember reading about it being Aussie design when it first came out. No, well, yeah. It's definitely, yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. it's up, um, design in Russell. Well, we've made them cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that's what I can say. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, crazy. So... What's not been touched? As in, what's the... Absolutely so nothing. Every single part of this car, there is absolutely nothing. Even the sills. We've yeah, I we've, was going to say. We've made the sills longer, yeah. that, like deeper. Yeah. Um, there's nothing on this car. Like, absolute nothing. You know, that, that panel there, I can say, maybe. Nah. The tail light come up through oh. here. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, so that, yeah. that weld line, course, yeah, even yeah. that. Yeah, oh, and when I say nothing, I mean nothing. Yeah. Like nothing. And even to the point where, when it's finished, 
it'll have a belly pan, but all the rear suspension and the front suspension will all be sanded smooth and shiny and, oh, wow, wow. you know, like all this stuff here, this is all billet, you know, all, all billet made, but all these components, all this will be polished and sanded and yeah. painted and all the control arms. Yeah, there'll be nothing left from factory. Actually, there'll be two things, sorry, two things. The factory booster and master cylinder. They're the only two things that haven't been modified. Right, okay. Even the gauges, the factory gauges, the holding gauges, because we can't get this loom to work with these gauges. So we've sent the gauges off to America to uh, Classic Instruments. So they're duplicating the exact same gauge, but with the mechanism behind it, we can use. So even that's been modified. Right. Okay. When you're doing something so offbeat like this and you're going, you know, for that competitive part of showing it and whatever. Yeah. You're playing with people, the, the judges up there, they because it's so unique to them. I mean if he's going for the outright win or whatever, he's, yeah. he's pushing the pushing the boundaries of, yeah, uh, yeah. of expectation yeah. from the, from their view, viewpoint, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's so that, different for them. They want to see an X5 GT or no, 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 the judges are all good. Yeah. So they don't care what they're looking at. They're looking for, for well, they, they look at it as a fabricated side, yeah. you know, what's been customized and made. Right. And then they also look at it as a quality side. So it doesn't matter whether you've got this or that XW sitting side by side. Yeah. They look at the two, okay. not okay. comparing each other, but they look at for what it is, yeah. you know. So the judges at Summon Ats and all that, um, all the shows, that's how they look at it. It's a it's a physical workmanship right. okay. and then quality, you know. Because yeah. you can do the workmanship and not do good quality, sure. or you can do good quality and not the workmanship, but if you've got both, yeah. you know, that's where it comes into it. Yeah. So, so, yeah, how long has it taken so far? I think five or six years now, you know, okay. and we won't, we won't have it finished by the end of this year. Uh, but definitely next summer nats it'll be finished or it'll be debuted at summer nats, you know. Oh, okay. um, so yeah, it's, we don't work on it full time because we're either waiting for parts or, or people or whatever, you know, yeah. it's just one of those things. But, um, but like you said, you, this is essentially a from ground up design in house here. 100%. Yeah. You know, like, even to the point where once we had the chassis and the body and the motor sitting in it, and I was thinking, right, we're pretty good, we've got everything worked out. then. I'd forgotten about the exhaust. Where do I put an exhaust system? Right. So, okay. and then once we did the exhaust, then it was a fuel system. Okay. Like, there's, it's still got to have everything in it. But like I said, it's a big car yeah. put into a really small car. Sure. <laughs> uh, hold, and there would have been the exhaust bloke going, Oi, what about my exhaust? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not reliant on they you. Would have, yeah, they would have had 20 people working on the exhaust Absolutely. system. Absolutely. <laughs> You're, okay. you're right with the noise? Yeah. So, hang on. Oh, no, the Harrop. Yeah, so it's a Harrop. Uh, Australian name in... Uh... Yep, good old Aussie yeah. name. So yeah. we're running a couple of Harrop superchargers, one on this one. There's a big one on that one over there. It's got the big girl on it. All right, okay. That's going in uh, the Commodore. Um, so this, the Camaro, 73 Camaro. Um, it's a split bumper bar car, this one. Um, this this has got a lot going on. All right, so this has got a full full USA clip front suspension, the motor set back. All these guards are modified. Yeah. Like these are actually being, you can see the weld line. So that's actually wider, uh -huh. right? So that's wider than factory. Yeah. And so is that. So we want real big wheels on this thing, but because these lay over so far, that, that guard's actually an inch wider. Yeah, yeah. And the lip's smaller, so as we can get the big guards under. Yeah. You know, so that one's been made so that it's the same. Okay. And then... Oh, oh suicide doors. Suicide doors. Amazing. That'll be, uh, yeah, that'll freak them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'll be cool. Um, is it the owner came in with asking for that? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. It's a carbon fiber bonnet. 
Yeah. It's hanging up on oh, the yeah, wall. Oh, yeah, that one there. I've got a nice shot of that. Yeah. Carbon fibre roof inlay. Yeah. So that actually, the roof's cut, so that's going to go... We're going to cut it on that line. Sure, OK. And then that's excess at the moment. Yeah. So... All oh, right, there's the... Uh, carbon fibre boot lid. Carbon fibre in there. Already lovely. We got that. That's just been custom made. That's the. You haven't got carbon fibre. Nah. Plate, no. So, so that's not fully. Uh... That's the mould. <laughs> not quite. Yeah. I'm not really. We do a bit of fiberglass, but not a lot of carbon yeah, fibre. Yeah. So, Jazzy's made the whole rear end. It's got late late model car, um, yeah, Camaro tail lights. Camaro tail lights. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna yeah, we're yeah. gonna make a split bumper bar um, rear. Which hasn't been done before. Right. Okay, yeah. Uh, the fuel cap's there, number yeah. plate's usually there, but we've dropped that down, and then Jazzy's made like a little air diffuser and the exhaust and all oh, that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Bloody hell. Luke's done all the chassis and all the su suspension and exhaust and. Oh, look at that as well. Beautiful. And not everything is what it seems around this place. The sneaky buggers. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, she, what are you saying? She, she's putting her own little touches? Yeah, yeah. Or something like that? Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah, I like the uh, addition of these uh, late Yeah, they look cool. Lights, yeah. Because yeah. they were round from factory. Yeah. yeah. So Luke's made all the rear. So all, all in the tubs and the yeah. rear floor pan's all been changed. The floor pan inside the car, everyone's, you know, so the fuel tank will drop in there now. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, and then we've got to plumb it and make it all work. But we've still got a long way to go on the metal work. Right. So, Greg, obviously, you know, people are coming to you for something different as well, yeah? Yes and no. Um, we do some resto stuff, you know, some original cars. Yeah. Um, there's a couple out at the museum That's that we're doing. But yeah, we, we're pretty lucky that we get to be creative. You know, they ask us for something and we get to make it and modify it and change it. And, you know, not, I don't believe everything needs to be modified. You know, like the 57 out the front, you wouldn't chop that up. You know, I, I refuse to do something like that. Some people would, but I just don't think it's needed. You know, there's not enough original cars left alone. Like this was a bit of an old rusty six cylinder car. Yeah. Um, and there's a few of these around, you know, plenty of stock ones. Yeah. Um, but this one, he wanted the Coyote in it, and then he wanted the turbos. <laughs> so it's got a Rodtech front end in it, and all this has had to be modified and strengthened because they bolt in now, the inner guards bolt in, so yeah. you can get to the exhaust and turbos and things like that. That's, um, that chassis's got to be modified to handle the power that's going to Yeah, Luke's done all the chassis work. It's all got strengthening under it, all the rear suspension, front suspension. Luke's finished all that now. Would you say you people are just limited, you know, coming to you, they're just limited by their uh, imagination? Is... Pretty much, yeah. A lot of it I get to choose. Right. You yeah. know, like they'll ask for stuff and, yeah. and then I'll, I'll make it so as it, it can work on the car because sometimes they'll want something that might not work for the car or um, a combination of parts won't work for the car. But I'm pretty lucky I get to choose a lot of stuff and use my imagination and stuff like that. Yeah. But then all the people at work here, they're the ones that have got to make it all come together. <laughs> I think there's a lot of eye rolling when you're thinking what we're going to do. Or? Yeah, 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 we've got a lot of times, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, oh no, what's he come up with now? Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and a lot of the stuff, the owners will come up with an idea and I'll love it and we'll run with it. Yeah. Like a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what keeps you awake at night? Um, not a lot. No. I just, keep coming up with stupid ideas is probably what keeps me away. Yeah. You know, like it's it's what it is. It's just yeah. yeah. That's where I usually come up with my best ideas. Sure. Where sure. I think they're the best ideas yeah. until we have to do them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great stuff, mate. Thanks for uh, a little walk about and uh, we're gonna That's go cool. have a little run around town now. Yeah, yeah. If you want to go for a drive, we've stuff. got three or four we can go to or five, yeah. depending on what you want to do. Yeah, let's do that. As I ride for the day. Yeah, mate. Cool. Well, I've got to run it in. Yeah. I've got to drive it. I drove it over to Wangaratta on Sunday. Uh, me and Jules and the boys. Uh huh. 
Went for a drive over there, which was pretty cool. And uh, it saves me getting one of my cars out. They've all got to be run in, like you say. Is that is that a plastic one or a real body? No, that's real. Oh wow! Yeah, that's a lot of history behind it. That oh, one, right? Yeah, that's Gaz's. One, oh, of the, one of the guys that works here. Thirty-two, yeah. No, nah, thirty-four. Thirty-four. That, that used to be an old speedway car years and years ago. Yeah. Yeah. What in so known sort of shape? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's well known now. Yeah, Gaz is really well known. Right. So the Octava one, is it the 32 or the 34? Depends on who you're talking to. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. Um, some people love the 32s. Um, I'm, I'm a bit of a 34 guy. Right, okay. I just must have read about the 34. I watched something on YouTube. I kept on making about the 32. I'm waving the 34. I might be mistaken. Next up was a visit to Southern Hot Rod and Custom, the largest of its kind in Australia. Oh, crikey, yeah, he's, he's got a big operation. Oh, yeah. Holy Jim, holy. And I dare say, up there with the biggest in the States. Southern Rod and a couple of other shops in the city are for the next episode, though. So please make sure you give a comment below, subscribe and share across your socials. And thanks for watching. If you love this video, you're going to absolutely love this one. So click on the screen and watch that. And I'll see you in the next video.